So hi there everyone and welcome to Thin 3D and today we will see how to assemble the various components of the LED torchlight. So we are going to start a very fresh assembly design. So for that go to the file and say new and inside new you have assembly. Instead of part click on the assembly icon and click on ok and after you click on ok you will enter the SOLIDWORKS assembly environment and on the left hand panel you can see begin assembly menu has been opened for us and here you need to browse your various solidworks part files and from here we are going to start assembling various features so the very first component will be fixed uh, or in other words it will be grounded and on to that part we are going to assemble the components using the mate feature so i am going to pick the bottom half part and it will ask you to place this component you can click wherever you want just place it and give it a left mouse click and now you can see that this part is being fixed and in the assembly tree you can see that this particular component has a small f inside of small brackets this indicates that this part is now fixed and now we cannot move this part you can see that i am not able to move this because the first component which you import into SOLIDWORKS will be fixed by default and you will be applying various mates of other components so that you can properly constrain them. So the next component you need to insert using the insert components menu right here and click on insert components and here you need to click on browse and this time I will pick my top half. This is my top half. I will click on open. And now you can see the top half is being opened and placed there. And now you can see the difference. The first one have an F icon here and the second one is having minus icon which means the second component is free to move. See you can see that it is moving and now in order to assemble these things you would be using mate instead of SOLIDWORKS. So click on that mate and now it will ask you to pick various faces when we will be using commands like coincident, parallel, perpendicular and these are various standard mates available and some advanced mates are also available. So we will be using standard mates in most cases and now I want these two faces to be coincident hence I will pick these two faces and you can see that automatically the coincident has been applied and now click on the tick mark and now again I want these two faces to be coincident. I will pick these two and click on the tick mark and move it at a distance and then I will again use this face right here. which is the groove which we have cut and I will pick the internal face of the lip here and now you can see both of them have been aligned perfectly in the way we want it and now click on the green tick mark. So now we have successfully constrained this component and if you have completely constrained then you will not be able to move the component that's how you can uh, justify yourself whether you have constrained your component or not and now I will hide the second component and we will import other components and assemble them and I will again go to insert components and click on browse and this time I will browse my battery contact positive which we have designed previously 
and place it somewhere firstly and then you can see that I need to rotate this component 180 degrees so that this particular battery contact is facing inside. So for that what I will do is I will click on move component and inside of move component menu I will click on rotate component and inside the rotate menu I will go to by delta xyz and you can see that the vertical axis is y and hence I need to rotate my component about y axis I will give a value of 180 I will click this face and click on apply and now you can see that this component is rotated by 180 degrees and now there is an internal pocket which we have cut and I want to align this into that feature so I will again click to mate and this time I will pick the bottom face of the pocket and also the bottom face of my contact and they have been aligned in the vertical direction and the second thing which we need to do is to align as per the side face this face and the back face both have been aligned and each time you give a constraint you need to click on the tick mark here so that it will be applied and finally I will pick up this face and this face and now you can see that it has been assembled in the way we want it and give a tick mark and there is a small gap towards the left hand side of the component this we have given clearance so that at the time of assembly when these parts have been manufactured it will be easy for you to actually insert this component that's why we have given a small clearance but for the sake of design you don't need to worry about that little clearance which is present there and now we'll go ahead and assemble the negative battery contact again go to insert components and click on browse and pick up the battery negative contact open it and place it somewhere firstly and in the similar way as we assembled the positive contact we will again assemble this using mates so you can see that you have to apply various mates until the component is perfectly aligned and assembled in the way it is intended give a tick mark here and I will pick up this face and this face give a tick mark and finally these two faces need to be assembled so I will move it like this and pick my left edge and both my battery contacts are now assembled nicely and they are fit perfectly and finally we have the battery switch set components pick up the switch this is the button switch place it somewhere first and it has four leads out of which two will be used to connect and this is the button switch you can see that this particular gap is provided so that these can be aligned and seated perfectly in the pocket and this has a cylindrical face and a cylindrical feature here and this one and this one needs to be mated perfectly so we'll click on mate and this time again we'll use the coincident pick up this face cylindrical face and this is also cylindrical face 
now we can see it has been aligned perfectly click on the tick mark and now this face and this face need to be aligned and now you can see perfectly we have assembled all the components and now you can unhide the top cover and you can see all our components have been assembled I will go to mates and we need to change one aspect that's the first mate which we have given this is the second mate and this is the third mate I will delete this and I will give mate here once again we need to align these two faces right here this face and this face and now they look perfect and this is how you create the assembly inside of SOLIDWORKS now you can go to save as and save it as an assembly file and the advantage of SOLIDWORKS assembly is that you can create sub assemblies let's say now you need many more components inside then you only need to design it once and you can import them as many times as you want thank you very much for watching and in the next video we will see what are the design considerations for 3d printing this star slate and if you want detailed trainings like this you can fill the enquiry form below in the description if you like the video please hit that like and subscribe button and if you want to see more please hit that notification bell icon to get updates